And speaking of the sun, this thing really taking center stage. A geomagnetic storm is underway, what's known as a coronal mass ejection, causing some minor communication issues, but also some auroras visible in the higher latitudes. We had, well, the sun misbehaving a bit, or right on schedule, behaving as we would expect. This active region of the sun, it erupted on Saturday, Michael. Sun observing satellites recorded an X-class solar flare, mm -hmm. according to the European Space Agency. X-class flares are the biggest. They're the major events that can actually trigger, in the most extreme cases, radio blackouts around the world, mm -hmm. long-lasting radiation storms in the upper atmosphere, which can be you know, de detrimental to right. GPSs. Space experts, I mean, they say, determining the exact strength of a geomagnetic activity, I mean, it's challenging how strong these possible flares could be. But there is one thing that's predictable, and it's the activity that we see on the sun. Every 11 years, it goes through a cycle. Yeah, it sure does. And interestingly enough, this occurred this past Saturday where right. we had two sunspots that erupted. Local time, or I should say Eastern Daylight Time, it occurred at about 10.37 a.m. is when all of that energy then slammed into the Earth. And what Earth -directed, happened... directed right? Because not always are these flares Earth-directed. Correct. Solar wind sometimes misses Earth. But mm -hmm. when it does hit, well, we have the effect. And it was really cool because it actually opened up a crack in what's known as our planet's magnetosphere. Mm -hmm. And that is what sparked what they consider as a, quote, G4 class geomagnetic storm. And you're probably thinking to yourself in parts of North America, you're like, all right, if it was 1037 in the morning when that energy was directed toward Earth, I didn't see it in the United States. I didn't see it up, up in Iceland, right? You didn't. The timing of this did not favor observers in Europe or the U.S. Instead, New Zealand New got, Zealand a great, got in on it. a great light show. I mean, it is a global thing that, that can happen. Mm -hmm. Had it been at night, I, I know that when you look at that rating of, of, of solar activity, the, the G-class, you can actually get that all the way down to Alabama, California. Mm -hmm. Those were a couple of the, uh, the states that perhaps could have seen them. But yeah, timing is everything. And it arrived a little earlier, too. And that's where this prediction of, of these this solar wind is, is sometimes tough to, to tackle. Bottom line, we've, we're in the middle of a solar cycle, the maximum to be reached next year, 2025. So expect this to continue. Back